Hi all, so today we're gonna to talk about all of those times where we wanna accomplish something and we just don't do it. We set a goal and we think, you know, I'm gonna really get this done and it's gonna be great. But then for some reason we get blocked. We just get stuck and we don't actually do the things that we say that we're gonna do. So why does this happen? And why do all the good intentions not actually motivate us into action? So this is actually somewhat really simple to explain. And I'm gonna use kind of like a very simplistic math equation to explain this motivation process. And if you've seen any of my past videos, you know how I love applying simple math to psychological concepts. Okay, so if, when we think about motivation, because this is very much a issue with motivation, we can think of it as motivation equals reward minus effort. So that's motivation equals reward minus effort. And so we have two components here, reward and effort. And we can actually work on either of these components or both to increase motivation. So what we really want to accomplish here is we want to increase our perception of the reward and we want to decrease our perception of the effort. And we actually have a structure in our brain that monitors this um, kind of almost equation, but we're not going to get into kind of the neuroscience of it today. But what you need to know is that there is kind of a monitoring process that's happening here. As we think about our goals, we're actually thinking about reward and effort. So let's first start with effort. For, so for a lot of us, um, when we kind of perceive something as very effortful, very kind of difficult, um, something that's gonna take a lot of time or a lot of um, maybe willpower, it's gonna be difficult for us ourselves to become motivated to achieve this goal or to partake in this task. And so what we really wanna do is we wanna break down the effort. And so for many people, uh, they set goals that are just too big and they're just, um, they need to be halved or they need to be quartered, they need to be broken down. So for instance, I'm gonna use the example of writing a book, okay? So uh, writing a book, that's a huge, huge goal. And most of us, when we think of that, we think like, oh my gosh, that sounds amazing, but um, that sounds super difficult and I don't think I can do it. And that's because we're perceiving it as an enormous amount of effort. So when writing a book, you can break it down to, I just wanna write a chapter. So, okay, writing a chapter, that's a little bit better. It feels a little bit better, right? But for many people, that's still a little bit too much. So you can actually break down your tasks to the point in which you have kind of the minimum viable task. So we, what you would do is you essentially create a task that you are know 100% that you can achieve. So maybe it's something like, I'm gonna open my computer and open the word processing system. That's something that you know you can achieve. and in creating such small tasks, you can actually gain a little bit of self-efficacy and gain a little bit of momentum in your task. So this, is, this can be really helpful in kind of remembering the phrase, setting a low bar and clearing it. So make sure to set a bar that you know you can 100% clear and then kind of build up from there. This will help you kind of perceive the effort as minimal and kind of be a little bit more engaged with this goal and with this task because it is not gonna kind of drain all of your resources. And remember, your brain's just trying to protect you. So if um, you kind of perceive things as, you know, super effortful and you may not, your brain might not perceive you to have the energy and the resources that are needed to accomplish this task, then it's gonna kind of decrease your motivation and stop you from engaging. Okay, let's go to the other side of the equation, which is reward. And so for many of us, we set goals with very, very ambiguous rewards. And the brain does not like ambiguity, it does not like ambiguous rewards, and it is not gonna kind of motivate an individual to pursue a goal with an ambiguous reward because we like clear rewards. And so when it, when it comes to reward, we really wanna be extremely specific with what the reward will be in engaging in this goal and also create as many rewards as possible. So when you think of your goal, and in our example, we're using writing a book, just think of all of the things that will 
that you will get from writing a book. So maybe, you know, you will increase your brand. Maybe you will finally get your ideas out in the world. Maybe it will help you um, acquire more business. Maybe it will help you um, meet kind of in like-minded individuals. Maybe it'll make you a better writer. Maybe it will um, have a monetary benefit. There's all kinds of rewards to writing a book. And some of the best rewards are often values-based or purpose-based. So if you feel you have a goal with kind of ambiguous rewards, Words, what I really encourage you is to write your goal on the top of a piece of paper and list out literally as many positives from attaining this goal as possible. And that is the exercise and there are no kind of bad ideas. You can list out literally any positive and save that piece of paper, display it where you can see it. And then, you know, when you kind of start thinking like, oh, this goal, like the effort, it's hard. Um, and you can kind of see how much reward there is, there is because if there's a significant amount of reward, then it can kind of squelch the amount of effort that needs to be done. Okay, and also when it comes to reward, it's really important to be very specific about the reward. So if you can, also write down all of the specific details of the reward. And it can actually be even helpful to imagine yourself after you accomplish this goal and really go as deep as possible into kind of this uh, vision in which you have accomplished the goal. How do you feel? What does it look like? What, I mean, what's the weather like? And go as specific as possible into this um, scenario so that you can really kind of see all the benefits and um, the richness of experiencing this reward. Okay, so I hope that this was helpful in anyone that feels a little bit stuck right now or is having difficulty accomplishing a goal. It's really important to remember the equation and really structure your goals in relation to this equation because if you are not, if you are stuck and you are not moving towards the goal that you want to achieve and you're kind of maybe frustrated with yourself and maybe a little bit kind of confused, uh, it's really not your fault. This is the way that the brain functions. This is the way that our motivation system functions and it's meant to be protective so that we don't go after things that are not rewarding or we don't go after things that are just like so much effort that like there's no point. Um, so really this will help you learn to work with your brain and get actually get the things done that you want to get done. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, and if you enjoy videos like this, I have several others. So uh, feel free to subscribe and I will see you all next week with another video.